Maybe you think that your marriage is like a ball of string, all tangled up, and there's no use trying to untangle it. Why don't you just cut the thing and get rid of it once and for all? Maybe you are like me when I go fishing sometimes and I throw my line in and tangle with some other fishermen. It frustrates them a little bit that I refuse to cut my line. At one time, a fisherman asked me, why are you so stubborn that you refuse to cut your line just when the fish is biting? And at that time, I turned to the fisherman and said, you have many hooks, lines, and sinkers. I have only one. I have to do all that I can to preserve this one. Therefore, I hesitate to cut it. Marriage is like that. God intended for it to last forever. Before you cut the bonds of love and those ties that knit two hearts together, realize that marriage was designed to be a perfect and permanent institution to show God's love and mercy as husbands and wives show to one another. Yes, Marriages sometimes are full of knots. It takes time to untie those knots and have a mid-course correction. Let's consider for a moment why a salmon would want to go back home. I tried to do some research to discover why, and I realized that no one has the answer. Maybe, just maybe, the salmon goes back home because there's no place like home. There's no place like being where you originated from. There's no place like going to the place where you were born, where you grew up in. There's no place like home. Maybe that's why the salmon goes back home. What has all this, the life cycle and the journey of the salmon, got to do with my spiritual life? What has it got to do with your spiritual life? Oh, my dear friend. We have all wandered far away from God. We have rebelled from God, not just as individuals, but as a planet and world itself. We have rebelled against God. And nothing would give us more joy and more peace, contentment and excitement than if we decide to go back home like the salmon. The beautiful song says, I've wandered far away from God. Now I'm coming home. I've wasted many precious years. Lord, now I'm coming home. Never, never more to roam. How far have you wandered from God? How far have you been away from him? How long has it been since you spoke to the Lord? How long has it been since you knelt in prayer? How long has it been since you called him your friend? If it has been a long time, you are like the salmon, my friend, still in the ocean. It's time for you to get back home. Have you been taken a little off track in your spiritual life? Have you been sidetracked by distractions? It's time to go home. Have you been dappling in sin for a long time that you don't know whether your father will receive you back? It's time to go back home. It's time to make a mid-course correction in your life and go back home. A young teenage girl ran away from home one evening. She was tired of being restricted and governed by the laws that her mother had for her at home. Her father died when she was, when she was very young and she was tired of her mother continually guiding and leading her. So one night she stepped out of her window, went to a local bus terminal and decided to take a bus three states away. Eventually, she was lured by drugs and the perceived thrills that the pleasures of this world can give. Desperate to support the vices that she got herself into, she sold herself into prostitution. She lived this life for many years. 14 years later, having contracted HIV AIDS, destitute, and desperate with no place to go she plucked up the courage to go back home 
deciding to arrive at night so as not to arouse suspicion in the neighbor, among the neighbors or even alarm her mother, she decided to come back home at night. She arrived in the town during the day and hid herself until the sun set. Towards evening, she made herself towards her house. As she stood before the door, she hesitated to knock the door because if she knocked the door, then someone would have to open the door. And if someone opens the door, she'll have to be engaged in a conversation with them. And so she, in her desperation, she just leaned on the door. But as she leaned on the door, she realized the door was being opened. The door was left unlocked. As this young lady now moved into the house, she began to tiptoe in the living room, into the kitchen, back into the living room, and she wanted to switch the lights on. As she pressed that switch and the lights came on, she recognized an old figure lying on the sofa, covered, trying to sleep. Her mother began to rub her eyes and woke up as soon as the lights went out. Surprised to see both, to see each other, daughter and mother, the daughter simply said, What are you doing leaving the door open of the house this part of the night? Mom, don't you know that the world is a cruel world? Someone might come in and your life could be in danger. The mother looks to the daughter. As soon as she heard the word mum, the mother threw her blankets down, ran to her daughter, embraced her daughter with all the love that she had in her heart. With the tears rolling down her face, her mother said to her daughter, my dear child, that door has never been closed since you left. I've always left it open so that one day should you decide to come back, I wanted to make it easy for for you to come back home. Come back home. And the mother hugged the daughter and squeezed her to herself. Like this girl, have you wandered far away from home? Have you been out in the wild oceans enjoying your life thinking you can make it without God? Like this girl, like this salmon, it's time that we come back home because there's no place like home. There's no place like being at home where you are loved, where you are cherished, where you are who you are. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive us. Jesus has never turned a repentant sinner away. Yes, dear friend, there's still room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for one. Why don't you move like the salmon? Why don't you move like this girl? Come back home to Jesus and find the door open to his heart always open. Why don't you say, I've wandered far away from God. Now I'm coming home. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this illustration of the salmon, reminding us that there's no place like home. Lord, we came from you. We were designed by you. We started in your heart, dear Lord. We have now been swimming in this world. We are tired, Lord. We want to come home. Accept us, Jesus, as we are. Change us, Lord. Mold us and fashion us after your will. Teach us, Lord, to leave a legacy for those behind us. Teach us, dear Lord, to sacrifice the way you sacrifice. Teach us, dear Lord, to come home because home is where we belong. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.